guys, what's up? I'm here with my January 2016 favorites. We're at the first favorites video of the new year and I'm so excited that I feel like more open in my new little space. Well, it's the same space, but I opened it up. If you couldn't tell, this is my new little setup. I feel like I have so much more space now even though all I did was just rearrange stuff. I feel like I just have so much room I get to work with now, so I'm really happy about that. You're still seeing the same background. This is still my door collage and this is is my makeup collection behind me and that's that's it really here we are let's get into the makeup favorites I have a rediscovered favorite this month this is the bomb Mary luminizer and this is one of my first highlights I ever bought like I bought this because it seemed at the time a couple years ago everybody was raving about Mary luminizer and uh, I do have it on my face today I did put on a lot so <laughs> this is what it looks like this glow that you're seeing on my cheeks is all from Mary Lou she knows what's up I love this it is very pigmented and it's intense you can kind of uh, if you want it to be more natural like maybe apply it with your fingers um, but it is I would say for the most part pretty intense and uh, I think that's why so many highlight fanatics love this or have this in their collection because it is just one of those effortless like barely tap your brush into it kind of product it's a very nice color it's a light golden glow I just think it really flatters a lot of skin tones and um, I love it so I just kind of fell back into using it another thing that I kind of rediscovered this month was my Jordana blush. I'm not sure of the full name. It's called Passion Rose. This is shade number 49. I believe I got this at Kmart like last year and I never really got into it until now. I don't know why. This color is so beautiful. I think this was like a $3 blush, maybe $4 at most and it is so pigmented. I have this on my cheeks today and uh, I barely put any on to get full color. It does kind of have a little bit of a powdery finish like when you touch it but it doesn't give me any issues when I use a brush with it so I do really enjoy this and I plan on getting more but I haven't been able to find them lately but I just want to say if you do see them to grab one. I do have a couple of face products, a couple more here from Maybelline. Now this is something I was not expecting to like. I have to be honest when it comes to Maybelline foundations I have never had one that's ever matched my skin tone so I was not expecting this to work out for me. The reason why I enjoy it so much much is because I find that it's very comfortable on my skin and this is called their dream velvet soft matte hydrating foundation and the shade I have here is number 10 porcelain this is the second to lighter shade and this is what I have on my face today but I'm also wearing a bit of NYX concealer just keep that in mind that's what's giving me coverage as well as some Laura Geller balance and brighten which is also kind of a more full coverage powder so I do like to mix and match this with other foundations it works well um, but by itself just remember it's more of a natural Natural look. I do have a video on it where I'm wearing it and I show you what it looks like at the end of the day so I will link that down below if you want to see like how it goes on but I can do a full review on this if you want to see that let me know I've been thinking about doing it okay so I'm gonna move on to eyes I have quite a few eye products here first being this little palette this is from Lorac and this is their pro matte Love how tiny it is I've been taking this with me every time I go places overnight I need something in my bag pretty much have everything you need for like a base basic eyeshadow look. You can go with something very light with these shades over here or you can make it more dramatic like I have on today. I'm mixing um, Latte here which is like a light brown mixed with burgundy and this is so beautiful. I love this one. I also have on Corduroy and Chocolate. I kind of mixed all of these <laughs> deeper shades together today on my eyes. I love this palette. I just feel like you can, it's really convenient. That's my favorite thing about it but also these shadows are very pigmented and they're easy to blend. They do have a lot of fallout Lorac shadows are extremely powdery so what I like to do is my eyeshadow first and then go in with foundation when I use Lorac because these are very buttery I mean they are a little messy um, so just remember that but they are amazing to work with as far as the color goes I think they're amazing quality you just got to work with it I have a brow product this month another rediscovered favorite I really feel like I kind of stuck with stuff in my collection I already had this month but I mean there's nothing wrong with that I, will, I love rediscovered Discovering products. This is the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I used to use the Ebony one or was it 
dark brown. I forgot which one I used to use when I had black hair, but now that I have red, bright red, I use this one, Auburn, because it has really pretty, beautiful red tones, and I barely need a tiny bit of this stuff to fill in my whole brow. So that's all I have in my brows today. I really like my Maybelline um, Brow Drama Palette too. I switch back and forth between that one and this one, but I've already mentioned my Maybelline Brow Palette like the past few favorites videos, so I decided to talk about this one this month. I love both equally. They're both amazing. Um, but yeah, I've just kind of been sticking more with this one this month. I also have from Maybelline, this is their new setting spray. The official name is Master Fix by Face Studio. I do have a whole video on this. I will link it down below. You can see all the details, see how it goes on. It's a very light mist. I like everything about this. It's a great face spray. I like this better than the new Wet n Wild one. I like this better than my uh, MAC one. I, I just ran out of the MAC one. I have Urban Decay. I still love that one, but I think this rivals it. I really do. And the price on this is awesome. I just think it's a great affordable makeup product. I think even people who are into high-end spray should give this a try and see how they like it because really this is like one of the best setting sprays at the drugstore I've tried. Also did spray this um, on this morning and my makeup haven't touched up all day. Almost four o'clock. I think it looks great and I really do credit this product. I think it's actually, it actually does something, you know, so I really like it and this is coming from somebody who's tried like all kinds of setting sprays so I think it's worth a try I really do I like it okay now for some lip products like I this is my favorite thing this is my area right here I love lipsticks lip balms gloss whatever I love it all so I try a lot of different lip products and this month I have some new ones for y'all these are the NYX butter glosses they have new shades I wasn't even expecting it I just saw it at Ulta I saw new butter gloss shades I knew I was gonna get at least like four because they are my favorite drugstore lip glosses actually probably my favorite gloss ever really they are not sticky and they're pigmented that's like two of the best things for me when it comes to gloss and I have this shade on called cranberry biscotti this is my favorite one out of the four that I purchased and it's because I think this is a nice really wintry shade this is just my favorite right now it'll probably change back to like hot pink when it gets a little warmer you know I still love all kinds of shades when it comes to gloss but right now cranberry biscotti is my thing I love it this is just one layer and I think it looks beautiful it is so pigmented let me show you guys Guys. I think the formula is the same. Some people said they think it might be new. Let me show you guys. Here's a swatch of it. So beautiful. I love it. It is so nice. I'm not just saying that. Like, you guys should really try these. They are very pigmented. They go on smoothly. Now, this one is called Strawberry Cheesecake. And let me show you Strawberry Cheesecake right here. So pigmented. Am I right? Let me show you. I'm just kind of smoothing out that swatch a little bit so you can get a better idea of the color. These are so glossy, so pigmented. If you haven't tried butter glosses yet, like call me and I will take you down to Ulta. We will go together. I love it when the drugstore has all the new products because yeah, it's overwhelming, but at the same time, it is so exciting. And this was one of the things I was searching for high and low. Finally found them at Walgreens. They're from CoverGirl. They're called the O Sugar Lip Balms. And these are seriously trying to be dupes for the fresh sugar lip balms. And they even say it on the display, like it will give you a fresh look. It's so sweet. And like all this kind of stuff to make you think like, hey, it kind of reminds me of fresh and these I think are really nice like okay I know fresh is a lip treatment they are very moisturizing I have one they are like $20 $21 so I only bought one and I tried them I tried two of them when it was like the Sephora birthday gift My favorite is the red one it is so pigmented and it does feel nice but I feel like they are a little too creamy I know it's meant to be a lip treatment more of a lip balm but for me it's just not practical only ever bought one fresh sugar lip balm and I do love it it's a beautiful deep red I have the cherry one um, but it's hard to apply and I feel like I have to kind of just put on a small amount for it to look um, okay because if I put it straight from the tube it's a little too creamy so I had to try this because lip balm lip product like yes get in my life and I love this I think it is so awesome that the drugstore is coming out with dupes for high-end products how cool is that this was six dollars I got four of them it was buy one get one half off at Walgreens this is my favorite shade they have it's called soda and I love the fact that it is not 
super creamy but it's still moisturizing and the fact that it's shaped like a lipstick is so cute I just love this and I feel like it's really easy to apply it's just great super convenient and it smells like the fresh lip balms I'm not even kidding you guys they're the fresh lip treatments I should say this smells so good it smells just like the original one the one that doesn't have color for me this is way easier to apply I just love the fact that it is so cute so affordable and really nice pigmentation I will have a review on these soon all right guys so that's it for my January favorites I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments what your favorites were this month I would love to hear from you all and as always thank you so much for watching